Welcome to this walkthrough of boards, a new feature that allows you to visualize data and clarify in new ways. This is going to be a quick intro, so if you want the full documentation, head on over to our docs where you'll find both screenshots, explanations, and a longer video that explains all the concepts that we're walking through today. Okay, let's get started. So on the left side here, you'll notice that on the bottom one where it used to say create new timeline, it just now says create new. And that's because if we click it, we now have two options. So we can still build timelines for commenting on data, or working with people, zooming in and out. But we also have an option here of building boards. Boards is a good way to build dashboards for visualizing the status of your operations, making daily, weekly, monthly reports, all in all a good complement to timelines. Pressing the button, just created a board. You'll notice that it says untitled. You can see it's uh, by default created in created by me, and it doesn't have a name. Uh, same options as with timelines to move it, delete it. There's some new stuff here where you can set the start of the week. We'll see later why that's important. And finally, you can share it with your colleagues or, or teammates. Now, let's just get into adding some data to our board. So I'm going to start by adding a section. A section is a container for multiple visualizations. I'm going to press it. It will give me two options. I can either visualize a metric, which is going to be a single point, either as a number or in the form of a gouge or I can do time series. We're going to start off with time series, uh, most similar to what we're used to from timelines. So I'm going to add a time series visualization. And just to give myself a bit more space, I'm going to close the side menu here. Now, we have a time series settings. We got some selection of what time period we want to show it for. And finally, we can add some items. There are two ways of adding items. You can press the button here where it says Add Items when it's empty. Uh, and you can always press the plus button in the top right corner to add it. Pressing it, it'll open up a view where we can search for and find the items we want to visualize. What I want to do today is I want to visualize a temperature setting for a room here in our office. So I'm going to choose that, apply it, filter, and we got the temperature. Let's see what options we have. A few different ones. I want the mill sensor one. I'm going to add it here. And boom, it shows up. So you'll notice now that it shows data from the 27th of April to the 4th of May. We can set that custom to last week, last month, however you want to do that. Or you can choose one of the quick options here. So I want to show it for the current week. I'm going to name my visualization. I'm just going to name it small work area. It's the name of the room. I'll leave the temperature name here as temperature. I want to give it a bit more bright color. And let's just add one more item. I'm going to press the button again. I want to add a humidity measurement this time. And let's do the small work area. There we go. So I'm going to give that another color. There we go. Let's press Save to store our work and then finally close to get back to our board. So we've added our first section with a visualization. That's a time series visualization showing temperature and humidity for the small work area. Now, we can add another block on the side here, or we can add another section. Let's add one block to show off metrics. There are two ways of showing it. We can show a single number or a gouge. I'm going to add an item. I want to show the outdoor temperature at our office. So let's find that. You'll notice now that there's no checkbox here, because for a metric, you can only ever visualize one item, while for time series visualizations, um, you can visualize one or more items at a time. I'm going to press Add Item. I'm going to switch the display setting here to go Recent Value, which will show me the most recent temperature measurement. Um, yeah, that's 15 minutes ago. I'll leave it at that. Just name the visualization Outdoor. Again, I'm going to press Save to save it, and then Close to get back. You'll see we have our time series visualization and a metric visualization. Now, I'm going to add one more section. And for that section, I want to add a bar chart. So I'm going to go time series, on the left. I'm going to choose bar chart. And I'm going to add an item that measures the amount of power consumed by our office. So I'm going to search for power, find the daily power consumption, add it. Now that we have our data visualized, let's change a couple of settings. So first up, I want to change the time bucket settings. Now, that's not going to change the daily power, because the daily power is already aggregated per day. But I want the bars to fill a full day. So I'm going to switch to custom, have it at one day, see that it fills the, the full day. And I'm going to change the time setting here not to be a specific time interval, but to show the current week. Notice the data updates showing from Monday all the way through Sunday. 
finally I'll name it to daily power consumption and I'm gonna name this one office save it press close to go back now we have a board with three different visualizations you can move visualizations around by dragging these blocks into different positions now you can also customize the size of each of these blocks by pressing the settings button in the top right corner choose the right shrink or expand this particular um, block is already at its minimum size so I can only choose to expand it we do that we see these two are now the same width now there's one more really cool setting for boards and that's the ability to automatically refresh the data contained within it so that's especially useful if you want to leave it on a TV or a monitor somewhere in the office or if you just want to have it open on your desktop and, and see the data refreshing so you'll find on the top right corner here where it says off that's a refresh interval you can select every minute all the way up through every 30 minutes and the data in the board will automatically refresh. And that's it. We've successfully built our very first board. Now, if you want to try this yourself, you can open up Clarify and start playing around with it right now, or you can head on over to our documentation for a longer explanation of the feature and all the different settings that are contained inside the boards. 